Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be testing out the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Ox Oxygenating. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Deep cleanse mask. This is what it looks like. It's a sheet mask. Sorry for my horrible pronunciation. Um, it claims to, let's see what it says on the back. Have fun, get clean. Our first of its kind, oxygenating. There's that word again. Deep cleanse mask with green tea works to reveal glowing, deeply purified skin in just three minutes. Upon application, this bamboo charcoal infused sheet mask activates an oxygenating and tingling 3D bubble experience that instantly invigorates, detoxifies, and removes face makeup. Use once a week or as needed. Then it says, like the steps, it says, unfold mask, dampen face, place onto face, aligning with the eyes, nose, and mouth areas, smooth all around the face. Number two, uh, the bubbles will start to form within 60 seconds, leave on for approximately three minutes, Re remove mask, and gently massage face with remaining cleansing bubbles, rinse with warm water. So that's what it says on the back of here. Let's see what Sephora says. It says, which type of skin is it good for? Normal, oily, combination dry. What it is, a first of its, a first of its kind deep cleanse mask with green tea that works to reveal glowing skin. Solutions for dullness and uneven texture, pores, and oiliness. I don't have any of those, but let's see how this goes. Uh, suggested usage. Place mask on a damp face and align the eye, nose, and nose area. Leave on for, for approximately three minutes. Remove mask and gently massage face. Rinse face, rinse face clean with charcoal infused BRB. I'm going to go and dampen my face. I'll be right back. So my face is dampened. I just kind of put one on my hands and like put it on my face. So now I'm going to tie my hair back. Okay. Where's my ponytail? Oh, it's on this hand. Is that better? Okay. So let's go ahead and try this out. I should probably set a timer, right? On my phone before I commit to this. I seriously look like a mask murder. Okay. Alright, so it's on, so let's start the timer. Alright, so it's been a minute and it's starting to get bubbly. Uh, exciting. I'm really interested to see if it's actually going to take off my makeup. I mean, I feel like it is because it's very soapy. So I don't see why it wouldn't, but we shall see. I feel like sheet masks make you look crazy, but like, this is just like on another level of crazy. <laughs> Alright, so it's been three minutes. I'm gonna give it till that three minutes and thirty seconds. Just because I wanna see like it get more bubbly and then I'll take it off. Okay. So we're at the thirty the three minute and thirty second marker. Let's go ahead and take this off. <sighs> there is hair everywhere. Okay, so it says to use the cloth. Right, that's what Sephora says. Remove mask and gently massage face. I'm gonna put a little more on. Okay. Look at the bubble mask. It's so bubbly. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna massage my face now. Ooh! It like actually turns into like a cleanser. See, well, I mean, it's what it is, but. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. Oh wow. This is crazy. This is so much fun. I could literally sit here and do this all day. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go rinse my face. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. I just rinsed off. I just rinsed off the entire mask. The only thing it didn't take off was my like eye makeup right here. I don't know if you can see. See, it's 
see I still have like all my concealer and my mascara. That's because I didn't uh, rub my eyes. I mean, I didn't like you, uh, clean my eyes with it. But my skin, can you guys tell? Like there was like absolutely like no makeup on it, like whatsoever. I keep hearing the bubbles in my ears like popping. But I do think my skin definitely does look, I feel like my skin like looks alive. I don't know. Like, I really do think my skin looks really good right now. Oh, aside from the eyes. All right, let me take off the eye makeup quick. My trusty Kirkland makeup wipes, let's see. All right, so this is how my skin looks. I don't know if I'm crazy, but like, do you see like, it's kind of like glowing? Like it looks just so, it honestly looks like perfect. Like I think my skin looks so nice. Like when I usually take my makeup off at night, it doesn't usually look like this good. Like this really looks nice. Wow, not bad for nine bucks. That's actually not bad. Here's the mask, RIP. All right, so since I have you guys here, I might as well just go ahead and show you guys what I use for like my nighttime routine because it is 8.30 at night and let's face it, my day is done. So not doing anything else for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. So I use the same eye cream every night, but sometimes I do switch up the um like what i'm using on my actual face so i'll show you guys both of that what i go in between all right so for the eyes every night i use the belief uh first aid 360 eye care mask this is can you say what it looks like it is our belief to help reveal are believed to help rele relieve fatigue and boost resilience around the sensitive and delicate eye area. Formulated with mimosa ex extract and three Napier's formula. Ooh. This innovative eye care mask instantly cools and hydrates, creating a, product a protective layer for a 360 degree eye care. Um, let's look up what it does. I'm pretty sure the reason I bought this is because it is meant for like dark circles and bags under your eyes. That is the main reason why I bought this. Let's see. Yeah, solutions for puffiness and dark circles. I really love this stuff. I definitely notice a difference when I don't use it and like I'll wake up in the morning and like my left eye mainly will be like a little more like, not puffy, but I'll have bags. Like this part of my eye will be very like, it just, it'll just have a bag, you know what I mean? Like, it'll just be a lot worse than my right eye. And then for my face, um, typically every night I will use this, the Origins Drink Up Intense Overnight Mask. Even though I don't have dry skin, I still like to, my skin to be nice and moist. And when I do get uh, the occasional dry skin on my face, this really does help fix that. So I do love this, definitely. And then this is actually something that I got as a, I think as a sample or a point thing from Sephora. This is the Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial for all skin types. This is what it looks like. It's a little baby. Little baby. It is, oh God, I can't even read this. A weightless, something that melts instantly into the skin for intense hydration and brightening. Boosts it with, with Wild Rose Oil, Vitamin C, and something for softer, smoother, more radiant skin by morning. Use after nighttime cleansing ritual. Apply to face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Caution, avoid direct contact with eyes. So, these are the three products that I do use at night. Tonight, I'm obviously going to go ahead and first apply my eye cream. Apply eye cream, you always want to use your ring finger just because it's the finger that has the least amount of pressure. So it'll be the most sensitive um, finger to for your under eyes. And you just wanna dab this back and forth a little bit. I like to bring it like down like that, kinda like concealer, just because my bags do go in that like movement. So and then I'll bring it up to like my temple and then I'll bring it on my eyelid. And then you just wanna go back and forth until it's completely uh, blended in, not blended in, but absorb into the skin. 
Alright, so tonight I do definitely want to use the Origins just because I want to lock that moisture in and then I just, first of all, I really like how it smells, so that's another reason why I like to use it, but I just want to be nice and moisturized. I don't use that much, I mean, I kind of did put a little much tonight, that's what I use usually, I'll rub it on my fingers and I'll just rub it in my face. Um, also, on nights when I don't use this mask, I mean, obviously, I will only use this mask tonight, so I don't use it every night. What I'll do is I'll uh, take a makeup wipe, take the makeup all off my face, and then I'll go ahead and wash my face with my cleanser. Uh, you definitely don't just want to use a makeup wipe because, yeah, it's going to get your makeup off like it took off the rest of that, but it's still going to leave like a little bit of film on your entire face. And I mean, that's not something that you really want. I don't think it's actually good for your skin. I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend just, of course, cl like cleansing your whole skin and making sure you really get everything off and just washing your face, you know? But other than that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions of this mask. And then I slipped in my nighttime routine in, ooh, in there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you Hopefully next time if you guys want to stick around. Alright, bye guys.